Welcome to this episode of That's Good Science, where we get your heart pounding with tales of revolutionary tools for preclinical research. In today's spotlight, specialized cardiac cells for use during preclinical drug development. Cardiac toxicity is a major cause of concern during drug development. Therapeutic agents can interfere with normal heart activity or can cause heart muscle damage, ultimately leading to abnormal heart rhythms, which can be fatal. Given these serious safety concerns, it is imperative to screen for cardiotoxic effects as early as possible in the drug discovery process. Early stage tools to assess cardiac toxicity include non-human primary cardiomyocytes and animal models, assays that are not great predictors of human physiology. Therefore, the effect of a new drug on human heart function is not fully assessed until it's in vivo during a clinical trial. Clearly, this is not ideal, and better in vitro models of human physiology are needed. One promising approach is using stem cells to generate an unlimited supply of functional human cardiomyocytes. Stem cell-derived human cardiomyocytes are functionally similar to their primary cell counterparts. They express cardiac-specific markers, have cardiac-like electrophysiological properties, and spontaneously contract in culture. Proof-of-concept studies indicate that these stem cell-derived cardiomyocytes are excellent in vitro tools for testing cardiotoxicity based on several electrophysiological predictors of arrhythmia and biomarkers of cardiac damage. This clinically relevant model pumps new life into in vitro cardiotoxicity studies that can be conducted earlier in the drug development process. And that's good science.